Nancy. Give it up for Mike. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy shit, he is way too handsome to be a comedian. Uh, how we all doing tonight? Everybody good? Beautiful, beautiful. I am so fucking nervous right now. Um, bear with me. Uh, I'm nervous. My last show, I bombed. Uh, I know I bombed. I got a text right after the show, and it said, hey, sorry we left early. We didn't want anyone to know we knew you. My mom's a dick. I was, like, I was like, what didn't you like about the show? She's like, honestly, it's your delivery. I was like, damn. I was like, how would you deliver a joke? And she's like, easy. Carry it for nine months and push. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I almost killed my dad. Uh, anyone else? No, just me? Okay. So it's, it's Thanksgiving, and we're going around the table, and we're doing that thing everyone does at Thanksgiving, where they, everyone goes around and they say, how much money would it take for you to suck a dick? Exactly. Exactly. He got it. Yes. And, <laughs> And, uh, you know, we, we, we got to my dad, and he's like, nothing, not a thing. Nothing's getting in this mouth, not a thing, blah, blah, blah. Gets to me, and I said that I would do it for a Klondike bar. <laughs> he, he didn't say anything. He just kind of just kind of grabbed at his chest and went, ah. That was it. <laughs> Week later, massive heart attack. But, oh, no, oh, he's fine. He survived. He's a fucking drama queen. <laughs> Anyone, uh, anyone here got little kids, like young kids? All right, a few of you. The rest of you are all pulling out. Respect, smart. Kids are gross. You should be treated as such. Ugh. I was hanging out with a bunch of little kids recently. That sounds weird. I, I wasn't in a bush. I, I was at a party, I was supposed to be there, okay? I was supposed to be there. And uh, I get a call from one of the parents and later on, and they're like, hey, real sorry, just want to let you know, our daughter has lice. I know, what a dirty little bitch. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean calling to just let me know? I found out that I react the same way to finding out about lice that I do if you called me and told me I might have AIDS. I'm calling up people I've been around like, hey, it's me. You should probably have yourself tested. It's all good, I didn't have lice. I got crabs though. Yeah. Different party. Bar mitzvah. You know how it is. Oh man. I uh, I recently got engaged. Thank you. Thank you. Even more recently, I got disengaged. So that's better. So the, a cheer for that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that's enough. That's enough. None of you would fuck me. So. I'm doing good though, I'm doing so good since the break. I'm doing great. I am a fucking mess. <laughs> My buddy tells me, he's like, hey man, you seem really depressed. I know exactly what you need. I was like, what's that? He's like, I'm gonna bring you to the gun range. It's kind of a weird place to bring your sad friend, don't you think? <laughs> like, what's after this? You're gonna teach me to tie a slip knot and see where the night goes? <laughs> Fuck. Oh man, now I'm dating again. Dating is the worst. I keep hearing women and they're like, you know what I want? I want a guy with big dick energy. Would you settle for a guy with small dick enthusiasm? Because like, I'll go all night and you will still be able to work the next day. Uh, walk the next day. <laughs> oh, I fucked up my punchline, fuck me. Anyway. <laughs> Appreciate it, thank you, thank you. Cheer for the fuck up. All right, uh, anyway. So, I, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm looking for, so like now I'm looking for like, oh, my, a buddy of mine told me, he's like, be careful with jokes like that. He's like, there could be depressed people in the audience and they could be offended. I'm like, dude, I've worked in customer service for 10 years. I am those people. <laughs> Do you know how close I'm getting to my end of work drink becoming bleach? <laughs> it's, like, it's like barely a joke. <sighs> looking for a woman now though, I'm trying to be a little pickier these days. You know, I've chased women for their looks, for their brains, but now I think I want what every guy in here deep down wants. And that's a woman who can keep her suitcase under 50 pounds. <laughs> Y'all will be crazy. You will have 30 outfits, 12 pairs of shoes. She's never packed a suitcase under 50 pounds. <laughs> you will pack the entire Costco box of tampons. It's like you're either afraid 
that you're gonna bleed out or in case of a water landing, you wanna keep the plane afloat. <laughs> Talking to an older woman right now. I love older women, she's so kinky. The other day we're in bed and she looks at me and she says, I want you to choke me. I was so excited, I tightened the shit out of her oxygen tank. That's right, it's my little grandma with benefits. <laughs> and the best part about her, if I make her come, I get candy and scratch offs. Thank you so much, everybody. You guys have been great.